What's up, people? Welcome back. All right, I am here with one of my friends at his house, and I am exposing him to Linux Mint for the very first time in an old uh, computer that's still in pretty good shape. I, up I upgraded the uh, video card and the RAM and stuff like that. So, what we have here is the latest Linux Mint. I believe it's Linux Mint 15. Now, I did install it for him, and I showed him how to do some various things, uh, such as... Um, Installing updates, uh, programs, and sorry for the flicker on this on the uh, the uh, screen there. But anyway, we've been playing with this oh for about uh, let's say maybe about a half an hour. And what I'll do here, I'll just ask him a few questions, and uh, we'll see what he thinks about it. So, first off, is this? Do you think this is better than Windows as it is? Oh, you're not sure yet. Uh, so far, I I would prefer it, and I think I'm just going to start using it. Okay. Um, what about, how would you say how easy or, or how difficult it was based on what I showed you to install software? It seems pretty intuitive uh, from what I can see. I don't find the logic any more difficult than Windows. Really. Okay. All right, now let me ask you this. Do you know how to close this screen out here? Yes, I can okay. do that. Okay, go ahead and do it. All right. Now we installed, guys, we installed, uh... okay, good. And it says here, if you noticed, that that the Banshee media player is still running in the background. Right. Okay. And, and I'll show you how to you know bring that up later. Okay. Let's see if we can find what you installed. Uh, we went to the Synaptic. I showed him the Software Center and the Synaptic Package Manager. So let's see. Uh, let's go find Clementine. So how would you do it? That's no, no. That's not your Linux password, right? Don't think of Windows. So it's yeah. There you go. There we go. Okay, we just use a simple password here, guys. So, all right. One way to find it is in the software center, but when I said find it, I didn't mean to find to see if it's installed. We want to like boot it up, start the application. So go ahead and exit out of that. Okay, go go to menu, and in the search bar, type Clementine, just like it sounds. Now, this is his very first time, guys, so I'm showing you how to do it. Actually, if you just type in CL or CLE, it comes up automatically. Click that. All right, and Clementine pops up. He may like this. I like this a little bit better than uh, some of the media players for Linux. Uh, some of you guys may be using this. I definitely like it. Uh, I'll show him later how to, you know, uh, link his library to this. So let's go ahead and exit out of this, if you, if you remember. Okay, we installed the stuff to through the through the synaptic. Package manner was that easy or hard or nothing in be or may maybe something in between? No, just a few steps. Okay. What do you think? We installed BleachBit. What did you think of cleaning out your cache, your temporary files? Well, I know that when I had Windows, cleaning was a constant uh, task. So was defragging. Um, not to mention, you know, the virus concern which we talked about before. So, I mean, that's reason enough to use this. Okay. So, it seems like the main reason for using Linux is not having to worry about viruses in general. That would be number one on my list, yes. I, I, I know it is on my list. What about the speed of this? So far. So far. Now, we haven't noticed any bugs or glitches, guys. There probably are, uh, but in the short time here, we haven't noticed any. But so far, what do you think about the overall performance? It seems... Very smooth, uh, you know, no delays, no, um, you know, stuttering or anything of that nature. Okay. So, so far, okay. so good. Okay, I will end this now, but one last question. You would say that you will probably use this more than Windows? My intention right now is to just use this exclusively because, I mean, right now I can't think of a reason to go back to Windows. <laughs> okay, that's, that's <laughs> fair enough. One last question. How do you shut this down? Let's see if you remember.
well that's log out that's not quite shutting down but you're you're on the right path um, if you had installed different what are called different desktop environments and wanted to log into a different look you could use the log out function but anyway this is the login screen so what I will do guys I will end this here and it sounds like we have we may have another Linux convert alright well that's it for this uh, upload for um, Total OS today and the first time Linux user we will catch you guys next time